So you got yourself an old Datsun, and something happened. It happens. Uh, you need to do some troubleshooting, and you need to be able to write, read the wiring diagram. So you open it up, and it's a jumble of these lines and symbols and some confusing things if you've never seen one before. Um, so if you think of this as kind of how the truck is laid out, um, it kind of helps. So you have the front of the truck here, you have your headlights, your turn signals, side marker lights on your fenders, your horns are over here on your driver's side, and then over here you got your voltage regulator and your whatever these are. And as you come through, you have your battery, of course. And these are your main body connectors. These go from the engine bay into the cab. And so then you're in the cab and working your way towards the back of the truck. And so you have your, like your gauges and your fuse box and your tail lights and side marker lights and brake lights and that sort of thing. Um, so that's kind of the layout of the diagram and then you'll need to know how to read it so if you go over here to the legend sorry bad driving um, you'll see that uh, they each line has a letter associated with it so you'll have a B for black a W for white and so on and so forth um, blue is L because B is already used for black and say light green is a LG and then say you got a wire with a stripe like a black with a white so this is your black wire with a white stripe this is a black yellow wire with a yellow stripe a black wire with a red stripe so these wires are hooked to your ignition switch so this is a symbol for your ignition switch these are laid out and tells you what connects to what in order to operate the switch. Um, this black with white wire is your ignition on and it'll go out to your ignition relay and out to your coil on the positive side. So um, if we continue down your legend you have connection types, you have no connection so this is just a wire that goes over the top of a wire um, you have a labeled connection. Um, these are label bubbles. We'll, they're explained a little further below. And then this is a connection where like these four wires are connected together and they go places. Um, and then you have you know switches, normally closed switch, normally open switch. And then you get into these labels down here, which are like California models manual or automatic transmission. These are basically just options that may or may not be in your vehicle. Um, usually the wires are there but the components are not. Um, so if we zoom out a little. So this just kind of explains about the colors of the wire um, and how they're typically going to be the same as the vehicle color wire. Um, now that's not to say that your wires will be the same color as these wires you're talking about a really old vehicle so that's how it works um, so just for an example uh, if you zoom into your battery you can see that you have a positive battery terminal and a negative terminal your negative goes to ground your positive comes out and goes over here And if you follow this wire, you'll find that the stock battery starter cable <laughs> should be yellow with a red stripe. Uh, I very rarely see one that's yellow with a red stripe still in the truck. Um, but that's your main starter motor power cable. Um, the black with yellow, you remember, was back at the ignition switch. That is your starter trigger wire. Um, if we come back over to your battery... Uh, off of the positive, you'll have a fusible link. Recommend always using a fusible link on your positive side or some sort of high amp fuse because 
this wire is your main power wire for the whole truck and will need to have some sort of fuse on it so you don't burn the truck down but if you follow this wire come up here and just follow it across all the way up to this main connector this connector is under your dash on the passenger side and it's closely it's close to these main body connectors here for every system but if we continue to follow this black wire here and continue you'll see that this wire comes down and plugs into the main fuse box so this is why you need a fusible link here um, you're running 60 amps no I can't however many amps lots of amps here <laughs> uh, not to mention the other amps that are coming off of that plus other items that are run from that so fusible link is important so that's pretty much how you read the diagram um, if you have any questions ask them below um, I've tried to do this video three or four times this is as good as it's gonna get I think so enjoy uh, let me know if you need me to go over anything further thanks